Hello everyone, it's Ryan here. All right, so I got a few updates for you. Number one, the at name on my Twitter is changed. I changed it and I'll put that right here. Number two, I am back home for the summer. So you could tell from the background. And number three, I got a haircut. Yeah, it's kind of short. Moving on. I've been meaning to film this specific video for the longest time, ever since I first learned how to give myself the shot. But I would just always forget after I had already taken the shot or I would just be too lazy. So I finally got around to it and filmed it for you and put it step by step on how I do my shot. So here we go. So now that my hands are clean, I'm gonna prepare the leg that the injection's gonna go into. Now, uh, every two weeks, I change which leg it is. So this week, it's my right leg. So I'm gonna pull up my shorts right here. If you don't know where to do your injection, one thing that my doctor taught me how to do to find it is to put your left hand right here on your knee. Kinda clip it around right there. Your other hand right below it okay and you see this area on the left side of my hand that's the area that i'm going to be aiming for so if you're doing the other leg it's just the same thing just you know switch your hands so that's how you find the area so i'm going to be looking around here for my injection site okay? and i'm going to reach for the disinfectant wipe right here this is the first thing that i'm going to be using to start the process so i'm going to get out this little square I don't exactly know where exactly it's gonna be, so I'm just gonna rub it along everywhere, just in case, so the whole thing is nice and clean. And if you're hairy like me, it might be hard for you to pick a spot where there's not a vein or anything, because you can't see with the hair. So what I like to do is I kind of just wipe the hair in, in directions, like away from each other. You see how I like move the hairs away from the spot? That's what I do. Makes it a little bit easier. And another thing you're gonna wanna do with the disinfectant wipe is wipe it on the top of the testosterone bottle right here. Wipe that nice and clean. So now I'm gonna reach for the actual syringe needle and open that up. So there's this part at the end where you pull apart. this and here's needle and now we're gonna reach for the actual testosterone and just put it right here have it ready so we're gonna pull off the cap to expose the needle so according to whatever your dosage is you're gonna want to pull back see the little black thing you're gonna want to pull that back to wherever your dosage is right there just full of air nothing in there yet and we're gonna get the testosterone. So we're gonna stick the needle in. in there. And the air that's inside the needle that you just pulled out, you're gonna wanna push that into the bottle. Now we're gonna flip the testosterone over upside down. So you could see the needle right there. See that it's inside under the testosterone. So you're not pulling out air when you actually pull back on this lever right here. Okay, so now it's time to pull out the testosterone. So you could watch it fill up 
inside the needle syringe. And I tend to get a lot more than I actually need. See, that? that's a lot more than my dose. Now I just push back into the bottle whatever I don't need. So this is my dosage, and I'm done. Pull the needle out. And it's ready for injection. And if you have any bubbles in here, you could just flick it. It'll usually get rid of them. So now we're back to the leg with the ready testosterone right here. And now it's just time to relax ourselves. Tell us everything's gonna be okay because this is the hardest part. Because your brain is telling you, no, don't put a big sharp thing inside of you. But you gotta do it. So make sure that your leg is totally relaxed, relaxed. The more relaxed it is, the easier the needle will be able to go in and the less it will hurt. For me, when I'm injecting the needle into myself, uh, I tend to go very, very slow just because that's how I'm comfortable. You might be one of those who like just stabs it in you, but I can't do that. I've picked my spot right there. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pinch the area. Okay. Get you ready. Relax, okay, and when you put the needle in, you're gonna put it in straight down and the entire needle has to go into it, okay? The whole thing needs to go into your muscle. So here we go. Just going all the way down in, okay? So now it's all the way in. Now we're gonna pull up on this and check to make sure there's no blood. And if there is, you'll know immediately and it'll shut up in the syringe. But if you pull back and there's nothing, all right? Now we're good to inject that in. So just push it in from the top slowly at a nice pace. So it's all, now it's all in, make sure it's done. Okay, so now we're ready to pull out the needle so we can do this one fast let's see and up oh, all right okay and we're done so now we can get our band-aid we did good put it over the injection and I like to hold a little bit of pressure there for a few seconds makes it feel better and congratulations, you did your shot. So now I'm good for another two weeks. So. so keep in mind that this is how my doctor taught me how to do my shot. If your doctor has showed you a different way, then by all means, I implore you to do it that way because you know they're the professional they know best so i'm gonna keep doing it like this because i haven't had any complications it's worked perfectly fine and uh you know hopefully this video was still informative or helpful for you if you're trying to decide you know what kind of way you're going to be taking your testosterone whether that be by like a gel a patch uh injection in the muscle or in the stomach in the butt <laughs> there's many options so um you know you have a choice all right so that's all for this video if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet you can go ahead and do that now that would be great and hopefully you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you next time